Good afternoon everyone. I'm Prasoon Agrawal from EQ International Magazine and today I'm here with Mr. Pradeep Shrikanthan who is the Vice President of Solar Equipment Group at Reddington India Limited. Hi Mr. Pradeep. Hi. Uh, so Mr. Pradeep, first of all I would like to begin with a brief introduction uh, of Reddington India and what product offerings does it have to uh, offer for the Indian solar market? Sure. Yeah, uh, Reddington is uh, basically a large, very large distribution company. So we uh, are into various businesses, and uh, solar is one of one of our emerging business. So we are into solar for the past uh, one and a half years, and uh, uh, being an organized distribution company, uh, we fit in uh, very uh, perfectly for the solar PV industry today, when it is uh, growing exponentially. So we want to support uh, small, medium and large size system integrators uh, by uh, taking quality products uh, in a timely manner and delivering it to them. So this is our aim and uh, uh, to fulfill this aim we have been uh, tied up with many uh, reputed brands, world class products, uh, reputed brands and uh, also we are making sure that it is available in stock and uh, help our system integrators. Uh, buy as and when it is required and uh, complete their project in a very short span of time. So if you see the uh, one of the major uh, uh, bottlenecks for system integrators in India today is the working capital. So they can't uh, invest on a product to buy something and wait for 30 days, 45 days until the product gets delivered. So this is where we want to help them uh, keep the products for them available readily so that they can buy immediately and finish their project. So this is uh, what is the basic uh, you know, purpose of uh, Reddington Solar and Reddington being an organized distribution company uh, has been well accepted in the Indian market. What all product categories are you supplying right now sir? We have the entire, uh, uh, we started off with solar panels uh, and solar inverters. Initially we had two brands, two or three brands. Now we have expanded our portfolio to uh, solar DC cable, solar mounting structures then uh, solar off-grid inverters and we have recently also introduced in-phase uh, micro inverter. So we will also add uh, all the components that is required for the uh, solar PV industry today to support the uh, industry growth. Can you throw some light on the, on the, on the you know, uh, uh, acceptability of micro inverters and uh, how big uh, uh, an opportunity does micro inverter segment uh, uh, carry? Yeah, uh, if you look at the micro inverter, uh, the always the uh, upfront cost or the initial capital cost will be higher than a normal string inverter. But if you look at the uh, energy generation over a period of time, uh, will be at least 10 to 15 percent more than uh, a high quality, very high quality string inverter. Uh, initial upfront cost will be high, but if you look at the uh, LCOE, what we call today, uh, levelized cost of energy, so. Is uh, if you are if somebody is looking at uh, doing a boot project, a BOO project where they are investing and selling the power, then in uh, micro inverters are the best bet today because they they have a 10 year warranty as against a uh, five year warranty of standard string inverters. Standard string inverters come with a five year uh, by default warranty, but in phase inverters or micro inverters today are with a 10 year warranty and they have a life of about 30 years because they are mostly uh, driven by software more than hardware like uh, as uh, as against a string inverter so you expect you can expect that the life will be much uh, higher than a string inverter uh, can you can you share the you know some 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 sort of guiding principles or strategy which you which you undertake while choosing a partner company for your for your distribution business uh, actually, we uh, we don't uh, discriminate a small or a medium size or a large company. Uh, the main uh, idea of Reddington uh, being in this business is we want to even uh, we want to serve even a one kilowatt customer. So we don't discriminate. Uh, we don't have any criteria for choosing a partner to whom we sell. But yeah, what we make sure is that uh, we make sure that the partner is knowledgeable enough. He has the technical know-how. Uh, to install the product which we supply Actually, i i wanted to focus on the on the partners you uh, you 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 partner with to get your products i mean you know yeah your your, your vendors yeah yeah vendors uh, see normally what we do is we always go with the uh, tier one top uh, top five to top ten brands some uh, brands might already have some distributors so they might uh, not be available for us to work with but i'm sure uh, going forward we will have 
uh, all the brands which are in the top 5 to top 10 uh, globally and that is what uh, we will always target uh, and also today in industry solar industry is highly volatile so that is the reason we have reputed world class brands at least 3 or 4 so that uh, you know we support we continue to support the industry so it should not happen that you know some brand is not able to supply uh, so we don't want a situation where stocks are not available and the projects are on hold so we make sure that you no know, we evaluate their uh, we evaluate their strength in terms of uh, financial uh, rating how big they are how diversified they are uh, in terms of uh, whether they can sustain on a long term uh, how can we get into claims uh, now if there is a claim uh, we need to make sure that you know uh, we go back to them and they are still existing for a claim so we also make sure that they are quite a large company uh, so that uh, no claims are uh, satisfied and also we work on a, a definitive framework agreement so you, you can see in uh, india there are so many distributors today who simply buy and sell so uh, there is no control over the brand there is no control over the company if there is a claim tomorrow you need a legal framework agreement so the first thing which we do is we sign a definitive legal framework distribution agreement wherein all aspects in terms of the after sale service claims everything gets covered and so it's easy for us to you know, go back to a, a vendor go back to our partner vendor partner and uh, register the claim and get the claim back to our customers mr pradeep how do you view the uh, general business environment in the country right now uh, concerning solar energy industry concern be, be be it from the policy front or or you know uh, the 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 uncertainty towards anti dumping petition the ever decreasing tariffs so how does that affect you see uh, what we what india needs today is uh, power we need power now i am sure the indian government is uh, well aware that uh, you know uh, india requires power for growth so if power is available then growth will automatically come so uh, you know you have to look at the both sides of the uh, coin on one side uh, you are expecting that the tariff should go down other side we are hearing things about anti dumping the costs already going up because there is a, a demand from other other markets so there is a, a shortfall in the supply to indian market so these things uh, i'm sure the indian government will uh, the bureaucrats will uh, analyze all these uh, uh, you know uh, ups and downs and then take a decision whether anti dumping duty should be there should not be there but yeah it should, whatever decision it is it should be good for the industry and uh, it should help everybody now it should not uh, you know uh, inhibit the growth of the industry it should actually uh, be helpful for the growth of the industry so we are expecting that the decision will be made such that the industry doesn't uh, you know suffer or there is no negative growth we don't stop at growing so we don't slow our growth so this is what uh, i think should should be done Mr Pradeep so it was an uh, amazing opportunity having to listen to your interesting views thank you so much for your time thank you thanks thank you for the